there's been much said about uh, you know the WHO. What would Sri Lanka at this point need from the World Health Organization? Well, I think uh, we expect uh, the World Health Organization uh, to provide provide us uh, with uh, correct guidance, uh, the appropriate and suitable advice. You know, a better understanding of the nature of the virus, uh, the health concerns which a nation has to address. I think WHO is mandated with providing such advice um, and support. As a country, I think we need uh, to have a greater number of ventilators, uh, a greater number of uh, intensive care facilities. You know, we need uh, equipment uh, that is able to take care of a large swath of prospective patients. We have to plan for the unexpected. And uh, in that context, WHO has to play a very constructive and prominent role in providing us with authentic advice uh, and uh, whatever financial uh, and equipment support as possible. And what do you make uh, of the United States holding funds uh, to the WHO? Should countries really expect better from WHO at this point? As a country and uh, as a member of the international community, I sincerely believe that it's not the time to point fingers um, and go for a blame game. I think all our energies, um, all our uh, strategies, uh, should be mobilized, garnered, and targeted uh, towards attacking uh, this huge worldwide pandemic. So I think it's very important that we do not lose focus uh, on the main issue. The main issue is eradicating corona. Of course, when implementing such policies and processes, uh, various uh, weaknesses, uh, various uh, maladministration uh, may take place. But while correcting those mistakes, we have to move on, not lose focus and garner and mobilize all our energies and uh, all our capacities to address this huge worldwide danger, the corona pandemic. Right. So has WHO actually shown weakness in its handling of the crisis? I know you mentioned the point weakness. Uh, do you think that they've handled it well? Of course, when one looks at certain uh, advice, um, certain instructions, proclamations and declarations uh, that were made by the WHO, certainly there have been uh, shortcomings. Certainly there have been certain weaknesses. And I think uh, it's very important for institutions to be responsible and accountable. The accountability and responsibility processes will have to take place, no doubt. However, we should not lose the larger objective of focusing on this huge pandemic, this huge disaster, huge economic, uh, social, uh, health-wise dislocation that has taken place. And we should focus on that first and then move on to other extraneous matters. And right, many countries are also talking about China's role. Of course, Donald Trump has also uh, spoken about it. Do you think the world should be holding China accountable once this pandemic is over? Certainly, when one looks at various nation states, uh, certain weaknesses and certain shortcomings may have taken place. However, I think... Uh, Right now, uh, we should focus not on pointing fingers. Uh, we should uh, ensure that there is uh, global leadership, uh, the courage to take innovative decisions, to come out of this huge disaster, this huge economic health and social disaster that has taken place, and to do so I think we have to have unity at the nation state level and also unity at the international level. So Sri Lanka as a small country 
uh, we are willing to give uh, leadership for an international effort for the formulation of an international agenda and an initiative to give health priorities the prioritization it needs uh, in determining the international and global development agenda. So I think uh, while there are weaknesses and shortcomings on the part of uh, many countries and many institutions, certainly it's not the time to uh, pinprick those issues and have debates on those issues. It's very important that we focus on the larger problem. Uh, the larger problem is uh, getting rid of the uh, corona uh, pandemic. Uh, 